Every couple of years, the production committee behind the Haruhi anime trolls the internet by announcing that they're going to announce something, and a handful of people who don't know any better get their hopes up for a season 3 that is never, ever coming. Why? Because Kyoto Animation is just flat out too good for it. Let's be clear about something. The Haruhi anime did not have to be good. It's an adaptation of a light novel series which isn't particularly above average and certainly wasn't for its time. It's got some pretty neat concepts in it, but for fuck's sake, half of it is exposition dumping even in the anime. And after the initial story is over, it immediately devolves into a bunch of random mimetic adventures. Not to say that there wasn't enough intrigue in the series to wring some other good arcs out of it for a movie, but can you even imagine the exact same script for the series being animated by, say, Satellite? Did you watch Nagato Yuki-chan? The KyoAni MO is to go above and beyond the Call of Duty, and they've done it every single time. I already made a whole video about how they turned the thoroughly mediocre K-On manga into an animated masterpiece, and they did the same to Lucky Star, Hyoka, Full Metal Panic, and Nichijo, though the source material was already great in that case. But at the end of the day, they don't own the intellectual property rights to any of these adaptations, and they don't exactly need the backing of the publishers who own them in order to make fantastic products and market them to a devoted and loving audience themselves. Kyoto Animation's history can be cleanly broken into two distinct areas. Eras. The era when they had to run around like some teeny bopper somewhere for somebody else's money, and the era when they made the money, man. They rolled the nickels. It all began with a contest. KyoAni started up an annual light novel competition, which is kind of like a talent audition for them to find authors they can strike up deals with and get the rights to adapt their work to animation. Chunibyo de Mokoi Gashitai, Free Iwatobi Swim Club, Kyokai no Kanata, Myriad Colors Phantom World, Violet Evergarden, and their upcoming series Surune were all the products of these competitions. And it's no no accident that these have been the IPs to receive follow-up seasons and feature films over the last few years. Hibike Euphonium is an outlier among their recent output as an adaptation which they've actually made more than a single season of, but considering it is property of a much smaller publisher than the other ones they've worked with, I'm sure it's a more mutually beneficial relationship for them. Obviously Haruhi is a hell of a lot more popular than any of these shows are, but no matter how much effort Kyoto Animation might put into the series, they will only ever see a portion of the profits, depending on whatever share the publisher offers them. Meanwhile, if the risk they take on funding their own productions pay off, they reap all of the reward, and on the occasion they land on a big winner like Free, they can use that success to keep the lights on in the studio year after year just by keeping interest alive with new installments whenever they like, and meanwhile fund unique and adorable OVAs like Baja no Studio, which is loaded with delightful animation and a playfully imaginative nonsense story which looks like it was a thousand times more fun for its team to make than one more Yuki Nagato dialogue dump might have been. Well okay, so KyoAni has no reason to return to the series, but that doesn't mean the producers can't hire another studio to jump on it, right? Again, I ask, did you watch Nagato Yuki-chan? There's a good reason that the only Haruhi content to come out of any other studio than KyoAni has been side stories, and that the attempts at sustained interest in the series have all been weird publicity stunts. Because if they made a third season of the proper series, which was significantly lower quality than the original, it would tarnish its legacy going Going forward. As soon as a disappointing third season gets made, the fans will never return for a fourth one, and will lose interest in all the other bullshit side stories and weird events because they won't be nostalgic anymore for what, in their minds, is still a classic anime. In many ways, making a third season of the actual show would be the worst possible decision for everyone involved, at least until the day that the show is so old that no one gives enough of a fuck for it to be not worth risking tarnishing it, and by then we'll run the risk of getting something like Berserk 2016. But hey, I would have written this exact same article about Full Metal Panic, which had its second season in 2005, and was likely abandoned for the exact same reason until it magically returned for a third season just this year. But then again, fans had already been unhappy with Gonzo's first season from 2002, and KyoAni had to wash the stink off of that with an offshoot comedy season before making the proper second season, and the fans had gotten so desperate over so much time that they would have taken pretty much anything. Haruhi is a much bigger franchise with a much bigger reputation reputation to uphold, so I think if we're ever going to see it return in the hands of a less capable studio, it's going to be long into the future and long after just hinting at the possibility of any news about the series has stopped inspiring hopes in its fans. But anyways, that's just my speculation and I don't know shit. Support me on Patreon anyways because I'm a cool dude with a rad tood. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.